In the previous video, we took our 24 volt 8.3 amp power supply and we connected it to the laser controller. Now we're going to connect the three motor drivers to the controller and also connect the power supply to those drivers. On the laser controller, we'll be focusing on these terminals, X, Y, Z, and U. Each of these axes has three terminals and they all coincide to this, which is Terminal 1, Terminal 2, and Terminal 3. 1 is DC 5 volts, 2 is pulse or step, and number 3 is direction. The direction will be a higher low signal, which will cause the, the driver to move in a particular direction, either forward or reverse. Pulse is a pulse of highs and lows. It's a pulse stream that actually turns the motor in the direction that is specified on this terminal. On the driver, We'll be focusing on this set of terminals, and we have CP plus, CP minus, CW plus, CW minus, REST plus, and REST minus. The REST plus and REST minus we're not going to be connecting. The CW plus and CW minus is for direction, and CP plus and CP minus is for the pulse or the step. Because we have a direction, pulse, and five volts on the laser controller, the pulse and direction are gonna be connected to the minus, and the five volts is gonna be connected to the plus for both direction and pulse. As a rule of thumb, if there's a ground here, then the pulse and the direction are most likely going to be on the plus side. But since there's a DC five volt, which is a positive, the pulse and direction is gonna be negative. So the pulse is going to be connected to the CP minus, the direction is going to be connected to the CW minus, and the positive five volts, DC five volts, will be connected to the CP plus and the CW plus. I'll be connecting a total of two drivers, and the two connections I'll be making are to the X axis and the Y axis. The X is going to be allowing motion in the X direction, and the Y is going to be allowing motion in the Y direction. We don't need a Z or a U in this case. The Z is really for focus, and we're not gonna have an automatic focusing system. We'll just be doing the focusing manually according to a, a go, no-go gauge. So let's go ahead and connect these terminals to the terminals on the laser controller. We'll start with the pulse. I typically use a green wire for pulse, and I'm using a 24 gauge wire. It doesn't need to be um, a large gauge wire because this is just digital communication we're doing here. This is just digital level current and voltage we're dealing with, so a large gauge is not necessary. Just a, a really small gauge is fine. We're going to connect the CP minus. to the pulse terminal of X. That's gonna be the second terminal here. Now I'm gonna wire the, the direction CW minus to the direction terminal on the laser controller. I typically use a yellow wire for this. And the direction terminal is number three, which is right here. Now we're going to connect the five volts terminal, which is this one, to both the CP plus and CW plus. I'm gonna use a white wire for my digital side of power. Because I'm connecting the five volts to both the CW plus and CP plus, I'll cut a small jumper wire to connect on the on the driver to jump from CP plus to CW plus. One side of this will be a little longer since I'm going to attach it to the other other wire. So these two will be connected together like this. So you have a small jumper wire connecting to the end of the longer wire. And I'm just going to do a sort of a U and I'll start to connect it. I'll start with the CP plus. So now we have both wires connected to the CP plus. And then I'm going to take the CW minus, take the jumper and put it to the CW plus. Make sure you have it in there correctly. We'll strip the other end of the white wire to go to the laser controller. 
We'll take it to the laser controller, to the number one terminal, DC 5 volts. To review, we've connected the driver, the X driver digital side, to the laser controller motor axis output for the, the positive voltage to CP plus and CW plus, which is pulse and direction. We've taken the pulse terminal, which is the second terminal. We've taken that to the CP minus terminal on the driver. And we've taken the direction terminal, which is terminal number three. And we've taken it to the CW minus on the driver. I'm going to do the same thing for the Y axis. It will be the identical steps. We'll just be connecting it to this set of terminals. At this point, we have the digital side of the, the motion electronics connected to the laser controller. And from the previous video, we have the laser controller power connected to the power supply. Now we're going to take the power supply and connect them to the drivers. In this case, I am using the 24 volt power supply to power the drivers and motors. Because I'm using relatively small motors that don't require that much torque and a 24 volt 8.3 amp power supply will be fine. In the case that you'll have larger motors that require more torque and more current to be drawn by the drivers, you'll need to add a power supply to this configuration. And if that is the case, then you just want to use this power supply to power the laser controller and then use another power supply, like a 36 volt, 8.8 amp power supply to power the drivers. And that would be connected independently from this system. So you would ha still have this connected to the laser controller and you'd have an additional power supply. If you are going to add another power supply to power the drivers, Follow the video instructions on wiring the power supply. To power the drivers, I'm going to connect the COM to the ground on this side, which is the power for the, the motors. And I'm going to connect the V plus on the power supply to the VCC on the driver. I'm using 18 gauge wire. And on the power supply side, I'll be connecting a spade terminal. Make sure it's crimped correctly. Connect one end to the common. And connecting it to ground on the driver. Now I'm going to connect the V plus terminal to the VCC on the driver. Okay, the first driver has been wired for power, and now we're gonna, we're gonna wire the next driver the same way.
So at this point, the laser controller is powered by the 24 volt power supply. The X and Y drivers are connected digitally to the laser controller with 5 volts pulse and direction and both of the drivers are connected to the power supply as well. In the next video I will connect the motors to the driver and I'll configure the drivers for proper operation.